Hey everyone, it's Gias to you. If you're new here and don't know who I am, I'm a top 500 Mercy streamer over on Twitch and I offer VOD reviews over at my Kofi. Today we're looking at a 2.5k SR game. They're Mercy that's currently platinum and just under their career high SR. They like to work on positioning and they feel like they tend to panic a lot resulting in doing things that they normally wouldn't do. This is a pretty short game but there's a lot of mistakes that I noticed. Side note, <laughs> absolutely love seeing you rock the devil skin. Very a good choice and I am definitely not biased. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into team composition. Since you have an Echo, she is going to be your default pocket and the person you're with the most. When the round is just about to begin, make sure you're not messing around too much and that you're ready to damage boost your Echo or whoever else for initial damage. Try to be more aware of your max beam length to prevent beam disconnects. You can set up on the left side behind the wall instead of the right. You could also do something like this if you're really worried about sight lines. There's no reason to leave your Echo here. I know you're worried about the Doomfist, I, I assume, but your team has Zarya Bubbles, Cast Stun, and Bat Lamp, and his healing. And Ryan's AFK, the, his death is not on you here. The res is too dangerous, and you should still be with Echo. You shouldn't even be trying to go for it. A Guardian Angel is a bit scuffed here. I'd encourage you to look for a different target to GA to or be in a different position beforehand. This is an unnecessary super jump that leads to your death, unfortunately. Good to stop your GA before you went too far into the point, but be careful to stay in max beam range so you don't disconnect. This shit here is a little scary. GA to your echo behind you, or slingshot past the Ana so you don't stop in the middle of the point. When your Ryan is aggressing, it's okay to follow that aggression to keep him alive since you're the only healer right now, and again, be more mindful of staying in beam range. Your Echo's in a dangerous place, so her death isn't really your fault as you can't really reach her without putting yourself in danger. Watch who your beam target is when you Valk. Beam shouldn't be on Ryan, it should be on Zarya to reach the both of them, or should start on Kaz as he's your best damage boost target right now. Also, you probably want to be positioning a bit differently on the high ground to make this Valk easier for you, and more impactful. Here, you should probably be with your Cassidy now. This movement is a bit odd. There's no reason to leave your cast and go to BAP. This res is absolutely terrifying because you know that the Hanzo is in that underneath room because of his earlier dragon, as well as Ash being down main and still having a clearer sight line, so watch for potentially really dangerous reses like that. After the burn wears off of BAP, you should be pocketing your Echo as she pressures the back line and let your BAP handle your team. It feels like you don't really trust your second support enough to let him heal and I would encourage you to try to do that a little bit more. When you're being pushed by Sigma, you can super jump to the high ground off of your cast to be able to heal safely from there. When you super jump off of the Rhine, commit to super jumping to the high ground where Cass is. You can pocket and contribute from there and be safe instead of moving to the back of point where Hog is. So Ash has a sightline down main right now. Rather than jing directly across her sightline and in danger, push the right side with your tanks. And then once your Echo returns, you should be with her. When your Echo goes up like this, it's okay to follow her earlier. You have your BAP to GA back to if things get dicey and you decide you are you want to dip. It's really hard to tell if your beam is going to break here or not. You should be flicking your camera back and forth like a little bit from the Echo to point just to make sure that Echo stays in your range and doesn't like just fly away from you. 
If your DPS is sitting on that little ledge, you can sit on the bus behind or the bridge and damage boost from there until they move up. Be careful following Echo out because Sigma is right there. You can stay inside the doorway a bit longer. This rest is really dangerous since their tanks are like right there. You probably don't even need this rest to be able to cap if you just prioritize the teammates that are alive anyway. You lose line of sight on your tanks when you're trying to keep them alive, which is really bad. You should be able to just drop off the right side and land in the same spot you do without waiting to J to your Reinhardt. Try not to jump too much for no reason. It makes their movement really predictable and they're running snipers. Brian is going to get the health pack, so don't bother with healing him at this point. Just focus on your Zarya. You should follow her and position in the back of point. If you do that, then your BAP comes back and can keep Brian up while you push with Zarya. Try not to swap to your pistol like this, since that time can be used to damage boost BAP or someone else nearby. They potentially have a recontest since some enemies died early, so don't J out of position onto the point if you can help it. You can comfortably stay on the sidelines like you were before, or super jump to the high ground. And that'll be it for this squad review. A few notes to take away from the squad review mainly is to watch beam breaks and your max range beam and to just be a little bit more aware of that. I'd encourage you to trust your second healer more and to watch damage boost and healing full health targets. And another big thing is to be a bit more mindful about your positioning and don't be afraid to take high ground as it forces enemies to use more resources in order to get to you and also use cover as well tiny bit more. I hope this was helpful and that you can use it to push past your career high because you are so close and I definitely think you can do it. I wish you good luck. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.